what's going on welcome back to my channel today we're going to be going outside and planting some wildflower seeds around the trees now part of my goal for coming to this property was to make it into a really beautiful scenic place so that people can enjoy their time here as well as for pollinators bees birds butterflies and possibly even animals looking to munch on some of this stuff I am making my property into a food forest and these wildflowers are just part of that. We're going to be planting some wildflower seeds around the trees. I'm going to be making like tree gardens and eventually down the road I'm going to be getting some either cinder blocks or landscaping rocks and putting those around the trees as well just to keep all of those plants within there and then I can mow around them. www.tennesseepollinators.org sent me a bunch of these milkweed seeds. So I've got uh, red milkweed and regular milkweed, common milkweed. I've got about 10 packets. I also do have a bunch of uh, wildflower seeds that we're going to be using here uh, that I've had in packets and that I've just been saving up to plant that is not in the gardens that are already the wildflower gardens. Those are actually inside here if we need any more of those, but these are for the tree rings. This native milkweed seed is provided by the Tennessee Department of Transportation Pollinator Habitat Program. Uh, the best time to plant this milkweed is during the fall. The winter freeze and thaw cycles initiate germination. Okay, I put all of the seeds in these containers. These ones are the red ones. These are the common milkweed. And then I gathered all of the other wildflower packets and put them all in here, mixed them up. We've got a lot of trees to do, so let's get to it. Now, because these are wildflowers, we're not going to do too much sowing of the ground to put these in. In fact, there are a bunch of leaves right now around all of the trees. So we're just going to be moving those leaves, scraping up the top of the surface, maybe a fourth of an inch, dropping the seeds, and then I'm actually going to be putting the leaves back over it so that birds and animals can't find the seeds to eat. It's going to be raining in the next couple days, so that will set germination in, although these seeds do not need water to set in for germination. They actually need the cold. I believe uh, negative or under 40 they need in order for these to start germinating, so that's why we're doing this now. They're to be done now, so I'm going to grab a the harder rake and the softer rake probably isn't going to get the soil up as much. We're going to be using this one. It's basically a gravel rake that's actually going to be able to scrape the surface. Okay, now one of the things that I don't like is that I'm going to be disturbing some of the wildlife that's sleeping because this is where they make their home and you're not really supposed to touch it until the spring, say in May. But I am going to be agitating the soil a little bit, dropping the seeds and then putting the leaves back over it. I'm going to be starting at the two trees by the tiny house, which is in the backyard. Okay, so basically that's what we're going to be doing to all of the trees is brushing all of the leaves out of the way, scraping the top of it, dropping some seeds, scraping it a little bit more so it kind of goes under a little bit, and then putting the leaves back over it. We have about 20 trees to do, so we want to distribute these seeds kind of evenly so that we've got flowers growing around all of them. Maybe some will be sparse as opposed to other ones, but we'll see how it turns out. This is the first time I'm doing this, so let's get to the other tree. It's right next door. Got 
got two trees down, covered this one back up. I also did this one. So now we're going to go in this section over here and do the ones in the middle. And if in the spring there are dry spells in the weather, I can always use the 200 foot hose and pull it back there and even use extensions to water all those trees. We've done about four trees now. I did do another one in my tiny house front yard. I feel bad for disturbing all the insects that are asleep right now, but I got to get this done. I just hit that tree, that tree, and this one. That's the last of them on this side. So now we're gonna be focusing on all of these ones in the middle. There's a good, as the first row has three, the second row has four, two, four, five, five. So we've got a good 20 or 25 different trees that we have to do, including a couple on the other side near the chicken coop. And a few down there, there's three across the path as well. Now this tree had a bunch of sticks and branches around it because when they fall from the weather and the storms, I just ride around and I put them around the trees. So I had to pick up all of them, put them on the golf cart, and now we can get to putting the wildflower seeds in there. Same with like that tree right there. There is some sticks and branches we're gonna have to pick up and then put on the golf cart. Okay, now some of these trees have all of these viney plants around them and when I tried to take a rake to it, I could not get the leaves up in the middle because the rake just kept scraping all the vines. So I tried to agitate the soil as much as I could and I threw the seeds in there anyway. Hopefully they will bloom in the spring. If not, then I can always plant more, but I want to cut all that stuff away so that I can have a little bit more access to the dirt because that stuff is growing crazy in there.
worked on the first four trees and the second four trees. Now I'm about to work on the four trees that are down here. I did this one already. And then we'll work on the ones over by the coop. That was planting wildflower seeds around most of the trees, just little gardens around there. And pretty soon I'm going to be putting landscape rocks or maybe cinder blocks or some kind of just border around all of the trees. We hit all of the ones in the middle. We hit the three in the tiny house yard and we didn't do any in the RV section, but maybe I will take one of those bags and do those later. But we hit about 20 trees, I think that during the rest of the winter as it rains most of those seeds are going to germinate under 40 degrees anyway so that's why it needs the winter to do this in the spring i'm going to have to hit them with the water which is perfectly fine we will try to keep up with those and we're going to have a really nice property if you guys found this video helpful and you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and click the notifications bell so you can receive a notification every time i post a new video which is every sunday Thanks so much guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Today we are going to be planting some wildflower seeds in the ground. Don't put that. Welcome back to my channel. It is January. Oh, most of the tree don't put that. So that was most, don't put any of this.